Welcome back to Absolutely Marvel and DC. My name is Benny, that is Sal, and behind the scenes is a hidden Dan you'll never know exists. All right, today, <laughs> here's the dumb part. I'm going on vacation tomorrow, and we literally wrapped our final project. I was like, I'm done, I'm out, I'm heading home, I'm getting out, pack my bags, get ready to go, and they Marvel dropped She-Hulk. Marvel, did you not get my memo? I'm going on vacation. <laughs> yep, about, about like three minutes after we finished, they were just like, here, here's She-Hulk. So we're going to do our usual trailer rundown, and I would normally be like, ah, don't worry about it, but they, there's a lot in this trailer. Yeah, this Which is I a find, full-on trailer. I'm surprised, because that's not like them to do this far out when it took, like, Ms. Marvel got, like, two weeks' notice. I know, yeah. So, all right, as usual, we go beat by beat through the trailer and stop it when we find something interesting. So yep. the trailer opens up with the city uh, landscape, kind of goes over a couple of things. Um... We see the world of superheroes and their need for a lawyer. Cool. It's all the setup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we see this... a lot of, like, white people that whose names I don't know, you know, like, in suits, doing yeah. stuff. Like, okay, moving on, right? And then this is my first, like, so the first thing is that 12 seconds into this one, I'm following the one of Marvel Entertainment. We get to see her landing. We get to see her calves, like, ripped out, showing she's supposed to be muscular. Uh-huh. It also looks like she may have skipped leg day, in my opinion. Sal, what's your thoughts on this? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, they're they're pretty thin. I mean, like I, they're doing they're what muscular. I had hoped. I'll give her that. They, they are, are muscular. muscular. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I, you know, I didn't even notice to be for when I first looked at it, but uh, it looks like they're just gonna skin over the actress and just be like, it's the same. You know. But I don't know. Like, but as we're gonna see later, there's a full CG She Hulk. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, so I guess we're going to get a combo of the two of them. Yeah, it's probably going to be mocap and then uh, it'll be whatever they do for 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 um, Mark Ruffalo. That's what they're doing for her. Like, that's it. Oh, quite obviously. But but the budget is not as high as Mark Ruffalo, as you can tell. No, but they do have I mean, like, look, they got the they got the the, the model for Mark Ruffalo. Like, we know yeah. what he looks like. They could just plunk him in. Uh, she's brand new. And it shows I I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for this show. And I think the thing is, for me, every story if it's engaging and good, the CG takes a backseat. Doesn't matter. No, you're um, right. You're right, and it's more noticeable in a fi in a trailer where they're kind of focusing on that CG. Yeah, and they still have a few more months to wrap up or refine. So yeah, because the, the the show drops August seventeenth. So yeah. we go through a whole bunch of footage, just kind of showing that she's an okay lawyer. She yep, she's got her friends. She's got her own life. She's got her yeah. own life. Things are going on, and then we see the big reveal: Bruce Banner Hulk. Yeah. And they quite that's obviously funny. already used the model. That is it. Oh, yeah. Sense. That's just the end game model. Fine by me. I thought you were going to say it like 24 seconds. We got the reveal of what I think is uh, the vault. Ooh. I was actually going to, I was, I was going to stop here and talk about what I think this is. Yeah. But then I realized I have no idea. So I just left it alone. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's the vault because the vault, and because here's the thing I've landed in Denver a few times. And when I say Denver, I mean not Denver. Because you don't land in Denver, you land in this oasis, and that looks a lot like the oasis. Yeah, well, Denver <laughs> is separate, located like a mile away from the city, or a couple miles away from the city. It's miles away from everything else, and it's a big open area. It's supposed to make a lot of less congestion in the yeah. Denver area. But uh, uh, you're the, right, that's what this looks like. It looks like it's out in the middle of nowhere. Right, but the it's, vault it's is usually in, done. In the, in the comics, the vault is uh, in Colorado. Yeah. Oh, is so it? So I thought maybe, yeah. No, well, the Hulk is located the in the Hulk Rockies. Happened in Colorado in general. Well, I, I no, the Hulk is not normally. I think that it could be Nevada. Or it could be like the the desert, like the Hulk is normally set in. But I'm, I, I think we're looking at the vault, and if it is the vault, I hope it's in Colorado. Yeah. Anyway, I also cool just realized that I apologize if you had to hear it. I was typing to Dylan, who's going to be editing this footage, but I also realized that due to my broken microphone, that is right next to the keyboard. Ah, yes. So fun times for Dylan to mute that out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, um, yeah, 20... so I, I mean, I was interested about that. I didn't quite know what it was. I was thinking, what if it's like a new S.H.I.E.L.D. facility? Mm, Maybe this yeah. is the first reappearance of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, one of the first few seconds of this trailer, we see a couple of armed dudes with some neat blasters, and I'm thinking yeah. they're definitely security force. They're not going to be bad guys, and if that's the case, it's probably... I mean, super crime and super heroics and super stuff have not stopped, despite the fact that S.H.I.E.L.D. hasn't been a thing for, like, almost a decade. I would assume it's some kind of backup. Yeah. Is it damage right. control? What is it? 30 <laughs> seconds. I don't know, we maybe see... they'll make damage control finally a thing. Yeah. Uh, 30 seconds in, we got Emil Blonsky under guard. I'm thinking in the vault. Yeah. 
Tim Roth. Hey, look at him they go. They brought him back. They're bringing back all the loose ends from uh, from the Hulk, which is what yeah, I like it, about this. Because we got Banner, and we never got our true Hulk story. Nope. And we, now we got Blonsky back. Yeah. So we got Abomination. And, and we never got passing, resolution to him. No. The passing William Hurt means no General Ross. Does that mean that they'll go for broke and bring in Betsy? Or Betty Ross, I should say. I, I would really like to see that, because I like the idea of this kind of wrapping up a lot of the loose threads we've had with the Hulk timeline. Yeah. And for those who don't know, Marvel doesn't actually own the Hulk. He's one of the last bastions of characters they don't own. Yeah. Um, he's owned by Universal. Yep. But Universal lets them use him freely, but anytime they do, they got to pay Universal, and that's yeah. why... Well, it's only if he headlines the movie, right? That's right. And I think the idea also is that like Universal has the rights to the Hulk movies, which is why Hulk hasn't had his own solo movie since the last one. Right. So uh, they're just avoiding that by just using the Hulk freely. Universal can do what they want with the Hulk, but they just haven't done yeah. anything with him. So. But Jennifer is part of a firm that's starting uh, Super super Law. Right. And, and I guess like one of her clients. For Blonsky. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense to me. And we see the Oasis. Tim Roth is looking kind of aged there. I mean, he, he's older, you know. But like the <laughs> fact is, they could. I mean, like they, they could have him permanently be Abomination and then just use him as a voice actor. They don't have to do anything. I mean, yeah. like, but it's fun to have him in there. Thirty-three seconds. We're in an island, uh, far away. You yeah. Know, so obviously, setting. I'm assuming at this point, whatever her. So in the comic books, her origin is that she gets shot because she goes somewhere for the lawyer situation. Yes. And they and the only person who can give her a blood transfusion is Bruce Banner. Yes. So I think I'm that going the car to assume, accident is yeah, the result. Yeah, car accident is one of the other options I think they've had done in the past. In this one, the, it, it, oh, oh, we see a car accident. In this one, we see a car accident. So I'm thinking that's her. Yeah. yeah. But go ahead. But it looks like Brainerd gave her the blood transfusion, which is how she's going to get her powers, and now she's kind of dealing with that. So yeah. this looks like he brought her to an island to train, and he's got a manual of how to be a Hulk. Yeah, which is I, such a Bruce Banner thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> right? Well, I, and I think they're out of sequence, because right after that we see her like train, or her under observation. I think that Bruce takes her to the island later. I think that all this takes place more on the mainland. Okay. Uh, where, All right. Like I think the island is later in the show, but maybe not. I, I I don't I don't know. It's fun because they show us a lot of stuff, but like they don't. I still have no no footing, so I still don't know what the show's about. And I'm excited yeah. about that. I, I I do like that because I have no idea where they're going to go with this because it looks like the origins in here, and that's about it. That's all I yeah, got out of this trailer. That's so right. Far. That's all I got. Uh, um, so we do yeah, see a brand of the MCU humor at 40 seconds. We get to yep. see the blades coming at her. Oh we yeah. Get to see, I think this is the first full transformation. Yes, it is. Yeah, she fully well where we actually watch it happen, or the yeah. very least we see. Her and this face is where revealed. the CG looks a little off to me because he's right there. Yeah, and she's in front. If you stop it at fifty three seconds, yep, you see her and him. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm saying the budget seems a little, quite a bit lower on the She Hulk model. Right. Well, I mean, especially in the cube. The cube when she smashes the wall, I'm like, that's none of the nothing here is real. Nothing. Yeah. Of, n nothing here looks looks real. Um, she, you know. On one hand, there are no green people, so our brain tells us that's not real. But later in this trailer, we'll see her facial animation. For me, it was a little, a little, little wonky. But yeah, a bit. We're, I think we're it's a minute in because, like, between that that scene at fifty seconds yep. up to the minute, we just see the August seventeenth date drop and her kind of being like, "Oh no!" And then we see her in the the lawyer outfit, but yes. as She Hulk. Yeah, it's very stiff. There's no motion on her hair. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, again. If it's engaging, if it's really well, it's fun, it's motion on the hair, but it's minute. It's it's more like the whole hair piece moves as opposed to like blades. Yeah, and, but I mean, listen again. I, I'm I'm a, I'm okay with it as long as it's engaging and fun. Like I yeah. don't care because once uh, we're actually watching this, I don't think it'll be as obvious. In the trailer, we're all we've all been waiting to see what She Hulk looks like. Yes. So I think part of the reason I'm nitpicking is so bad is we've been waiting to see what she looks like. So yeah. when you finally give her to me, I'm gonna be like, ow, oh, ooh, ooh. But I play yeah. video games all over the time, all over the every day. Like it's, it, if you get a, if it's an engaging plot, I'm okay with that. Whatever. That's right. That's right. Uh, so then, like, I guess the, the idea here is she becomes She-Hulk, her private life is over, and she's trying to integrate both halves of, halves of her life. And now it's which like is, how Which has always been a... Superhero uh, she, trope. It's, it's, but it's also the She-Hulk story for the most part. Is yes, she a lawyer? Right. Is she She-Hulk? And she eventually comes to terms and is She-Hulk the lawyer. Like, that's right. what she ends up doing. Right, exactly. Exactly. So we see that 106, she's really embracing the like new lifestyle where she's like, she's huge and Amazonian and I mean, people are really liking her. Like they're giving her a lot of attention. She's getting black yeah. car treatments. She's wearing special dresses. People are complimenting her butt. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. 
but it goes back to it just looks weird and like it might just be it like i said weird. because i'm finally seeing it in action mm -hmm. but the story is really what it's going to boil down to i'm all for the story is the, like above everything the cg can be wonky i will comment on it but that doesn't ruin the story for me Absolutely. The biggest reveal, I think, besides the fact that we see that she is going to be, she's going to help out as a lawyer. She is trying to reconcile her, her life. At 122, we see that, like, I guess Titania attacks her during a, a, a hearing, and she has to hulk out and uh, and fight her in the middle of the, the, the you know, the, the courtroom. Is that, uh, like, her only real villain, Titania? That is, it's one that she can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that is also a woman. But okay, yes. I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's the kind real of always been the problem with the Hulks is that you need to have the Hulks have something that can fight them. It's like yeah. an issue with Superman. What are you? What are you going to fight Superman with? Zod, because right. that's the only thing he can punch. Like, right. It's, <laughs> it's Doomsday. It's Zod. If you want to, if you want to unleash Superman, you got to throw something as equally powerful. With She Hulk, it's the same thing. You got to throw either a super powerful villain who is someone else's villain because She Hulk doesn't have a ton of uh, her own original villains. Right. Uh, but one twenty three, Frogman. <laughs> is that that is Frogman? That is straight up Frogman. I was wondering because uh, it, it looks is, like it looks like uh, Kickass. It looks like Kickass. If you freeze it, it looks like Frogman by way of the Green Ranger. Which, <laughs> if you're making Frogman, you're doing something right here. Uh, but yeah. Oh, there's Man. Titania right there. If you go to 124, that's got to be Titania. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, she blasted the wall. That's then that's abomination. We see him hulking out. mm Hmm. Yep, and then we just see her stomping. Yeah, we see her in action. Like we see that, like they're and not shying MCU away humor from of she her trying to action. date in the modern day, but as She Hulk. Yes, <laughs> which I'm not gonna lie, I laughed at the final scene with the guys. Me like, too. He's like, I'm kind of into it or whatever. That is straight up. Like for me, that is it, She Hulk. She she just can't, oh, one hundred percent she Hulk. That's why I like it because that is straight from the comics. Yes, like she gets a guy that's okay with it and carries him like a baby to the bed. Like <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I like that is she Hulk. Like anybody who yeah. might be complaining, like I'm just getting ahead of it because I know that it's coming. But like that's that's she. Oh, this is one hundred percent going to be like oh my god, so many women in Marvel. Like she has been around since like the seventies or sixties. I don't know exactly, she, and right? that has always been her. Always. Yeah, no. She this is this is Marvel's Wonder Woman. Is she yeah. Hulk? And it's like it's very different, but it's Marvel's. Like this is a sexually liberated woman who has embraced her power and is also like a working person who like has a law degree and has intelligence and also has the strength to back it up. Like there's a lot here uh and it's also very much the dance slot run. Like I feel very much like Well, they, cuz they're, they're going to lean into the humor of her being yeah. a, a 7 foot tall green Hulk, she Hulk. And the j funniness that comes out of it, like her and carrying why the not? muscle bound guy to the bed. <laughs> right? It's, it's a show. And, it, yeah. and, you know, for those who are complaining that, like, our Marvel characters are asexual, I, I hope that uh, She Hulk uh, breaks the mold on that one. I, I've never heard that complaint, but okay. Yeah, people are complaining there's no, like, there's not a lot of sex in the MCU. Like, characters are, you know, they, they love each other or they kiss each other, but, like, there's no implied, like, raw uh, no, I, I foresee us never getting true sexual encounters in the MCU. We had a sex scene in Eternals, but it's not, it's, it's quite tame by comparison. Uh, well, because uh, it's Disney tame. I don't think well, we're ever going to, to go out of Disney's wheelhouse. Yeah, we're not though. getting those Netflix sex that scenes. That scene like with her to. carrying him to the bedroom, that's going to be her carrying him to the bedroom. And it'll cut away. See, I think it'll be played for laughs. I think it's going to be like they break the bed or, you know, there'll be something cute and fun with that. I but would like, like again, to see that, but I don't think we're going to go that. So no. not, there's, there's a lot here to unpack with the return of Tim Roth, the return yeah. of what appears to be some kind of government facility we're going to be yeah. dealing with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the return of the Hulk. Right. Titania, a new villain. There's a lot going on Name in Name dropping trailer. the Avengers. There's a lot in here. Yeah. There's a lot in this trailer, which I'm shocked by because a lot of these trailers don't reveal anything. No. So we don't always do the Disney Plus trailers. Because yeah. they don't all, like the Miss Marvel one was just, hey, it looks like a Disney show. Like, right. It's like, here's little girl, the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you think about this though? Because this actually has me hyped for the show. CG yeah, no. issues aside. I'm excited for this show. I, I this is the one when uh, when I saw like the the promo image and uh, the the title, I was like, this looks like it could be a really fun, engaging, like truly Marvel show. Like a like yeah. taking some real direct uh, uh, inspiration from the comics in a in a really fun way. Uh, this trailer has done nothing to dissuade me from that. I will say that the her, her CG is a little rough. And when I say a little rough, like it is capturing her face and it's doing but like it seems a little stiff, but yes. again, if I'm if I'm sold, if I'm engaged, if I'm enjoying the show, it won't matter. 
Like it doesn't. It, like that's not what's important. But no, you're if the show is right, and I agree with you on that. But yeah, like, but if it's boring, then you're gonna it's it's gonna be like ever, it's gonna be a death by a thousand cuts. Like it's gonna be like oh, <laughs> it's it's boring. It's not interesting. No one's engaging, and the CG sucks. Like there's it's gonna be this other th- element to it. You know, yeah. and it's gonna it's just gonna add to it. So yeah, I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are as well. Let us know what we missed in the comments down below. I will admit we had to go through this one a little bit faster than we normally do. But that's literally, like, we weren't just kidding when we started this. The team's going on vacation 30 minutes ago. Poor <laughs> Dylan has to de- edit. Dylan's out. He right. now has to come back and edit this. That's so. right. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, man. But, uh, yeah, great trailer. I'm excited. I- I'm-, I'm hyped. Yeah. I'm down. So thank you guys so much. Let us know what we missed. We'll see you guys next time. We'll, we'll see you guys when we get back. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy your uh, time of watching uh, pre-recorded videos. <laughs>